Hey, Zoe. Okay, for those who haven't been to Zim's channel before, we're about to do we're about to do a hat cam unboxing of the MetaQuest 3. Now this is gonna be a bit of a speed run as I'm doing it single player. I, I don't have my usual arrangement of people around. Uh, so yeah. That's what we're going to do. Now, uh, Meta did recently send me a MetaQuest Pro, and they've just sent me the MetaQuest 3. So thank you for that. Much appreciated. I'm glad to be part of their creator program. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. I don't understand. It's quite a large box. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do this. As I said, a bit of a speed run for what Zim normally does. This headset is super exciting because it's light, it's comfortable, it's everything the, the Quest Pro really should have been. A substantive upgrade from the Quest 2. And this box is heavy! This is like a heavy box. I'm trying to figure out how my how I get in there. I have to say the detailing on this with the little meta symbol and the three panels is really cool. Um, and I heard something knocking around in the box a bit earlier. This is no fake unboxing. This is the first time I've I've really opened it. Wish I could do this live with you guys, but you know we got this access early, so um, better make use of that. All right, let's see what's in this treasure chest. I like this. This is a variation on their previous boxes, you know. So it's that's quite nice. Let's go ahead and uh, just neatly fold this. I know most people huck it. You know, they'd actually show this and they'd like pitch it somewhere, but we've got we've got stuff to do. Look at this—a nice tidy compartment on the side. Job done. Here we are. Now, first off, this thing looks just lovely. It really does. Look at that. It's like light, very like light colors on the inside here. Um, okay, so it looks like one of those like almost Apple style. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, the little meta logo is just there just to greet us. Oh, I gotta say, I, I, I've definitely, I like the meta logo. Um, I do like the Meta logo now. I used to think that it was a stupid move. Uh, I I can't still say I'm happy with the Oculus rebrand, but maybe one day. <laughs> okay, this is one of these triple glory hole. Okay, um, here we go down the way, and then we've got leaves. I remember some album expand. Uh oh, expand what? Your <laughs> Wee! Wee! They have, they've got wings! Okay, so far this seems really dumb. Uh, marketing departments. Uh, expand your world. What? What? Why not expand my reality? Expand your world. Jeez, look at this. Expand your world. I'm glad this is not the standard, um, the standard box because it's silly. But I like the opening. It's uh, it's nice. Expand your worlds. Get ready to open up endless possibilities with the new MetaQuest Three. The new MetaQuest Three. Wouldn't we just say the MetaQuest Three because it's not it's not like there's an old model. Uh, we look forward to seeing you share your extraordinary experiences. Oh, well, that's obviously like a creator kit. They've even refreshed. Okay, props to them. They've even got the X logo on there, which is only a little bit old. It's it's really not it's not been around for too long. Right, now we've got the MetaQuest 3 box. Oh my lord, it is teeny. It is feckin' teeny. This is, this is gonna sell shitloads. Um, oh my lord. That is so small. Okay, it is absolutely tiny. It's smaller than I was expecting. What a cute little box compared to its, its brethren over there. Man, that is something else. Um, okay, so let's put this gigantic... I assume that those are just unnecessarily large, uh, but that is, okay, expand your world, pack it back up. Okay, I didn't realize that was a creator box. That's, that's kind of sweet, actually. Okay, so we've got that creator box, and we'll just stick that to the side here, and um, here she is, the 128 gigabyte version of MetaQuest 3. Honestly, they make this thing look feckin' sexy. Uh, they do a really good job of it. It really does have that kind of modern tech feel. And also the box feels um, heavy. 
like it like feels like it's carrying an arc, a treasure trove of stuff. Now I know like a oh man, cool coloredy meta logo. Hope this all comes out by the way. It's the first time doing like a composite video like this. Uh, let me go ahead and expand our world. Sorry for the fly that's running around to try to catch it, but he's he's a cute little fly. Um, you know, he's not gonna hurt anybody. Um, okay, so Meta Quest 3. Oh man, lovely box. Let's get in the back. Headsets, oh feck it, let's just go. We're supposed to be speed running this. I'm not good at speed runs. <laughs> I'm not known for my speed running technique. That's cool, so it doesn't slide apart. That's a new, uh, this, this makes sure that the headset sleeve doesn't fall off, um, until you're ready. And see, now you're ready, and you can go boom. And the sleeve comes right up. And there you go. There's your Meta Quest 3. All right. So we're slowly, slowly getting ourselves sorted. By the way, that's our Among Us chair over there. So just in case you were wondering. Uh, Skyrim poster and all that kind of stuff. Got my little studio here. By the way, developers, if you are looking... Oh, there's my cat Zoe in the uh, underneath my rumble chair. So if you are looking, and uh, big thanks uh, to the Windlands dev, John, for giving me the Meta Connect. Uh, drink container. So I've got all of them. That's really fun. All right. Well, Meta, let's see what you've got in store for us now. Uh, what have we got? This is my hat cam unboxing of the Meta Quest 3. What do we have inside? Oh, I think we've scanned to start. Okay. Well, we're going to be doing all of that stuff a little later. Uh, hmm. Wow. Nice presentation in the box. Like having the controller sat up like this is so nice. And also you can see how small the headset really is. It's tiny. Uh, you got the Meta logo, finally, right? They've done that refresh, so the Oculus logo is gone. Battery pull tab to light her up. The um, lovely... Now, last time on the Pro, you had these twisty ones. I don't know how this comes out. Uh, one thing to note, you have a battery door compartment lock now. This is important. Beat Saber players pay attention. Uh, and then we've got this, which just slides out. So that's a little bit cute. They keep redesigning this. On the, on the Pro, it was a twist. Here, it's just a simple slide. And you've obviously got the uh, the little battery here. Now the battery compartment is is nice. It's got a pin charger as well. You can get the replacement to to do that. Um, I love I, I love their battery tech. By the way, I think it's really smart. Uh, hey, bright alkaline batteries. Use rechargeables and a loop for the win. That clicks in nicely. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Proceeds to fumble the controller. I can read it in the comments already. Uh, but that's it. That's your controller. This is such a better experience all in all because it's less faff. You know, there's less like muckery. Let's get the headset out. Come on. Let's do it. Um, that's her. That is Meta Quest 3. Man, it comes out a little bit of dust from the factory or whatever. You got your 3.5 mil jack on the side. You've got your headset. No protective film on the, the front lenses, which is fine because I guess in the box they're being protected. Uh, contact pads, all kinds of dials and switches, what some people purport to be the Oculus logo emblazoned there. That's the stadium logo around the charger. Like, hey, this is an Oculus device as well. I think they might have done that intentionally. If they did, then that's fantastic. Here you go. Uh, now, will this, says, this talks about the um, facial interface gasket for... Um, so instead of a plastic doohickey that they send with you, it's actually integrated into the facial interface now. I think it's very smart. It gets rid of uh, little pieces being uh, all around. And then let's see, is the is the lens assembly still talking? Let's put these to the side just for a sec. Uh, is the lens assembly still talking about sunlight? Yes, it is. No sunlight. I'm hoping you're able to get the, a good feel of how premium that looks. Like, this is not a paid-for comment. This is a feckin', these lenses look amazing. Even clearer than the Pro. Even clearer than the Pro, and you wouldn't have thought that. Um, but there you go, there they are. Nice big hole for us with big noses. Doesn't touch my nose, very important. Uh, there's the kind of, uh, f like, the cloth interface. I love this. This is great as a default. Feck you, silicone lovers. I know you like it. And then there's the jock strap, head strap, which um, honestly is a total fix. Uh, from what they had before, and is really, really good. Um, I didn't expect this to work. It's kind of a bungee system. But when you put this on your head, it's super comfortable. Um, and then you've got the loudspeakers. Now we're going to cover all of this off uh, later on, but, like, look at that thing. Look at that thing. What a pretty little headset. And to be honest, it's also super... It's, it's like... 
it's it's about the same weight as Quest. The facial interface is a little bit slippery, like it, it actually j jostles a little bit, and that's because they've got this button in here and the four tabs, so you can move the eye relief back and basically accommodate. You see that how the slide works there? You can accommodate glasses. Um, I am super duper looking forward to putting this thing to the test and being able to tell you everything about it. There you go. That's our MetaQuest 3 unboxing there thus far. Uh, how far do the bands, the, the arms bend? They bend pretty high up. Okay. That's nice. That means you could kind of dev in it and poke your head out when you need to. Uh, she's a little front heavy, so she wants to kind of tilt forward. But, um, man. MetaQuest 3. There we go. Um, that's us for now. We will uh, be doing a little bit more a bit later on. Can't wait. Cannot wait.